Assalamualaikum students welcome back to my class this is Saira Wasi from Moonlight International Publishers Grade 4 students kindly open your English textbook developed by Moonlight Publishers Unit number 5 Technology a blessing Today we will be talking about language focus competency but luckily we have already done first category means vocabulary building while we were reading the text Let's move to our next question and that is how do we express our opinions maybe i will say yes i have done yes i do or yes i don't do i can express my opinion like yes i do no i don't do and how will you express your opinion maybe you will say yes you do and maybe you will say no you don't do so this is the way to express our opinions either in a positive way or in a negative way now we have been given some mcqs over there and we are going to choose which one expression of opinion is correct according to the sentence let's start at home do you share the chores and the tasks of home with your brother and sister and the options are yes i do and not i don't obviously there would be any one of the answer maybe you help or maybe you not and the answer is if i will give answer according to me so i will say yes i do second do your parents encourage your sister to get better education and the option is yes they do and no they don't obviously the answer would be yes they do and maybe the answer can be no they don't Just choose the answer according to your circumstances. Do women and men have the same rights and opportunities in your country? And the options are yes, they do have and no, they don't have. Just choose the correct option. The last one. Should the girls and the boys be brought up differently? The options are yes, they should be and no, they should not be. And you are going to choose the correct option. Now it's time to move towards our second category and that is learning to spell. We have been given some words but they are not completed because some of the letters are missing. Let's observe which letter is missing. The first word is fought. Obviously, u is missing. Beautiful. Beautiful. You can see that when I'm speaking, t sound is coming. Beautiful. And t is not written over here. So what are we going to do? Obviously we are going to complete this word by putting t over here. Quit. This right i to complete this word. Player. And here sound is given by s u r e. Complete this word. Asleep. Obviously s is missing. Let's move to our next category and that is about grammar. Let's see which topic is waiting for us and that is punctuation and capitalization. And yes students we all know that punctuation is actually a mark which is used to indicate and yes students we all know full stop comma and inverted commas are the punctuation marks full stop is used at the end of a sentence if it is a question then we use question mark inverted commas are used to quote the exact words spoken by someone on the other hand if we will talk about capitalization so we all know that a sentence starts with a capital letter whatever the word is we have to write or we have to start a sentence with a capital letter but if proper noun is used even in the middle of the sentence or at the end of the sentence we have to use first letter capital i pronoun is always written capital even if it is in the center of a sentence let's start working on the sentences which are given on page number 46 our first sentence is bilal abid and i are going to school the first letter of the bilal word will be capitalized for two reasons first it is the start of the sentence second it is a proper noun bilal b is going to be capital abid because abid is a proper noun so a is capital and i are going to school at the end we will put full stop but what about the i i have told you that i pronoun is always written capital even it is in the center of the sentence make it capital now move to the next sentence i bought bread cheese 
olives and eggs so first of all make the capital of the letter i and put full stop at the end now you can see that bread olives and cheese are the name of the things how can we indicate them so we will put commas in between them like i bought bread comma cheese comma olives and before the last thing we use and eggs full stop he is too weak to walk his h will be written capital because it is the start of the sentence and at the end you will put full stop and that's it move to the next sentence she is going to islam bath she is the start of the sentence make as capital is going to islam bath Islamabad is the proper noun so we'll make i capital and at the end because it is a simple statement so we'll put full stop at the end now let's move to the next sentence he said i bought a pen a pencil and two books so obviously the start of the sentence is going to be capital he h capital said now put comma over here because the next words are the exact words spoken by he comma and start the inverted comma i capital i bought a pen a pencil so you can see there are two different things we'll put comma in between them i bought a pen comma a pencil and two books put full stop at the end but don't forget to put inverted commas at the end the closing inverted commas because these are the exact words spoken by he i hope students that you are clear about the punctuation and the capitalization now it's time to move towards our next topic of grammar and that is helping verbs what are helping verbs obviously as the name suggests it means that helping verbs help the main verb to convey a message like ali is in the park they are playing match Sajid's daughter has a story book I am eating food So over here is am are and has are the helping verbs Now you have been given some helping verbs Take out your notebooks and start making sentences by using these helping verbs is This is a pen this is a chair he is playing she is playing are we are muslims we are running we are studying we are playing am I am a Muslim. I am doing my work. I am playing with my sister. Has he has my pen? He has completed his work. Sara has visited the park. Have I have a pen? You have completed your task. They have visited the park. Had I had finished my meal? You had finished your meal. You had joined that meeting. Do. I do my homework they do their work honestly did I did not go to the park she did not tell a lie the children did not run fast I hope students that our today's video is very informative for all of you now it's time to say a laugh is to all of you I will meet you again till then take care of yourself thank you